I'm Charlie, I'm with WaterOutfitters.com. I'm gonna to talk to you today about wetsuits and what you should know before you go out and buy a wetsuit. Uh, the main misconception that I see is about fit of a wetsuit. You want it to be snug, you want it to be fitted to your body. What that does is if it's a little bit loose, you're gonna get pockets of air and water that aren't regulated. You wanna keep it close to your body, your body warms it up, and that's what's gonna keep you warmer in colder water. Uh, there's a couple different types of or thicknesses of the wetsuit itself. You'll have somewhere in the range of a two mil wetsuit, which is gonna be for warmer temperature waters. And then you'll have something in the range of six mil wetsuit, which is for your colder waters. And then just anywhere in between there, obviously the thicker the wetsuit, the colder the water it's gonna be. Um, as far as sizing goes, this is a second misconception I see. You'll see numbers such as like four, three, or 3-2, and what that is, is it's telling you the thickness of the wetsuit in different parts of the body. The first number is gonna give you the torso, so it's gonna tell you how thick it is right around your body, and that's where you normally want it to be thicker, it keeps your core warmer, and then you'll have a thinner wetsuit on the second number is gonna be your extremities, your arms, your legs. It's gonna keep your extremities a little bit colder, but it's gonna give you full mobility, so if you're surfing, or if you're out there skiing in the colder weather, that you still have full range of movement. Um, there's a couple different types too. You're gonna have a full wetsuit or you're gonna have a shorty. A full one's gonna be full arms and full legs and a shorty's obviously gonna be short legs, short arms. You can get any combination of the two. You can get long legs with short arms or you can get long arms with the short legs. Uh, you can also get all of the other body parts covered. You can get a hood which pulls over and it'll tie into or go under the neck of the regular wetsuit. You can get gloves that'll cover your hands. You can get booties that'll cover your feet. You can do a whole body one, which will just keep your entire body warm. Most of the time you'll see that with divers and everything that they're doing. But for water skiing, for wakeboarding, for anything in the regular water, you'll probably just wear some sort of a combination of a regular wetsuit with gloves. So when you're looking at wetsuits, there's a couple different key things that you can tell the quality of a wetsuit. Mainly it's gonna be how it's constructed and how it's put together. Uh, to start with, the main thing that you're gonna see is it's gonna be stitched. So whenever they put all the body panels together, it's just gonna be a straight stitch like on normal t-shirts and shorts. You'll be able to see the stitching on the outside. One of the benefits of this is that it's gonna be really strong. It's gonna last you a long time, but the little needle holes in it are gonna let air and water in, so it's not gonna keep you quite as warm as some of the other constructions. The next one up above that is gonna be a glued and a tape seam. So instead of stitching it, they just take the two materials, they glue them together, and then they'll take a little piece of tape, throw it over the seam there. So you'll see what it'll look like is literally a piece of tape going over the seam there. And what that's gonna do is keep the water out, the air out, it's not quite as durable, but it'll keep you warmer in the long run. And then in the top end of the wetsuits that you'll see, it's going to be welded. They literally take the two pieces, weld them together, it'll look like a weld bead. It's going to be the strongest construction out there, and it's going to be the warmest construction out there. And then when you're getting into your life or into your wetsuit, there's going to be two different ways to get into it. There's going to be the traditional ones that have a zipper in the back. They'll normally have like a long piece of string or some sort of nylon that you can grab onto and you pull the zipper up over your back. And then it'll be a Velcro around your neck or some sort of other way to keep the zipper and keep it zipped up. And then if you're surfing or you're diving, they want the least amount of area where water and air can get in. So they'll just do, it'll be a shoulder zip. So there'll be something right around one of your shoulders and it just keeps the pockets minimum where water and air can get in. Um, and these are the key buying points that you want to look at when you're looking at a wetsuit. Uh, so I hope you get out there, stay warm, and we're from wateroutfitters.com.